in a row y'all don't faint not yet anyway give me a couple of days and then y'all can faint <laughs> so um as last night I said that I was going to be um trying to put more stuff into this new um uh, idea journal type thing it's not new it's old but I filled another one up first but um I did notice I have a few things in here and so I figure what we might do is maybe today and tomorrow, and maybe, I don't know, maybe even the rest of the week, I'm just going to um, see what I have, the, a couple of things that I have in here, um, and we might recreate. I got some of my digitals in there. What on earth? So you see, I've got some cute little things in here I do. Um, those are easy to do. Hmm, let's pull these out. Do we want to do those today? Maybe not. Um, I'm going to leave that one out, though. There's my other stuff. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what this was. Okay, I do remember that. Um, that's a possibility. Uh, so let's set that over. What is this? I don't remember what this is. Wait a minute. Yeah, I do. Okay, so it's a pocket there. A pocket there. Oh, yeah. And it's a pocket there. Hmm. Okay, we might do that one today. And we... Yeah, we've done this one several times, I think. I'll leave it out. That looks like a disaster that went wrong or something. Oh, what was this? It's a book page. I don't know, it's a bunch of pockets. This looked like it was probably that, but maybe in a cardstock form or something. I don't know, but that looks awful. I don't know why I've got it in my idea journal. Maybe to let me know that that was a bad idea. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So I was, I guess this is like a, a little template to how to do like, Okay, I got enough pulled out. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, there's more stuff in here, but oh, that was what we done yesterday. Let's just see what we can do today, and I am not going to. Okay, which one do we want to do today? We got a couple of them pulled out here. This light looks like it's like washing me out or, or washing the stuff out. Is that color better? Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to change the. I don't know. It's going to do its own little thing anyway. Um, let's do. Let's do this. I think. I think I want to do that. So I'm trying, um, one of my things this year is that I really want to um, use up papers and kits and stuff that I bought and that I have been hoarding. And I'm sorry, I'm having to lean over my chair to get some paper. Um, I'm just gonna grab one of these. This is some that I had got at Tuesday morning the other day and I got like a whole big old stack of this the same pattern but it's nice double-sided paper and I paid like two dollars for 25 or 30 sheets 
And so the reason I bought so much, you know, because it is such good paper that it is great for if I am needing to figure something out or, you know, something like that or something for my idea journal. Um, so let's make this like a regular sheet of paper. You can do it any size, but I'm just gonna go with, so that's eight and a half. And let's do 11. Okay, I think that'll work. I mean, it's gonna work for sure, but I'm just, I know I could have went with any size and you know, but I don't know, I just, sometimes I just feel a little bit goofy. Okay, let me look at it again, guys. Okay, I do remember. I do remember, but I don't remember. Um, okay, I think this is another one where I'm bringing you guys along. We'll see how it goes. Y'all know how I do. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm shaking the camera. Ah, I've got, I did get some of my stuff put up. Um, I absolutely did but not enough to where I can like comfortably be in the craft studio right now because I still have a few boxes. Okay, so you take um, on the long side, so the 11 inch side, you fold it up to meet the other edge and you, you know, stay just shy of it, I believe. Yes, I think that's it. I don't know. We're about to find out, guys. If not, y'all may not see this video. <laughs> no, y'all know I would still show it to you. Then you're going to fold it like this. I'm trying to remember. And I'm so short, sorry for shaking this thing. I'm really trying not to. But I think the more I try not to, I think the more I do. Okay, so we folded it up on the long side, then we folded it this way. Trying to remember. I keep looking at it like it's going to tell me something. Okay, so this is what I think. So we'll find out if what I'm thinking is correct. So, from what I think I remember, you cut on that short piece, you cut on that fold line, and you cut up about maybe an inch or so above the other fold line. So, there's our fold line, and you can see I've cut, here's my fold line right here, and I cut up to here. So, now I've got it laying down. And then, yeah, okay, 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 it's coming back, it's coming back, it's a coming back. So now I want to fold up to where I stop that cut. Yes, that's what I want to do. Mm, I got it. Okay, we're good now. So you're gonna fold up there, burnish it down real good. Then you wanna flip that over and you want to take, I wonder if I want that a little, I've already folded it there so it'll work. I'm thinking I should have probably cut up into it a little bit more cause this is gonna be, cause this is gonna end up being a little pocket, but I would have liked for my pocket to have been a little bit deeper, but it's okay. I'm not going to stress over it right now. And then, the, yes, I remembered. Uh, that don't come down far enough. So we're going to have to, guys, Fred the Fly is back. Because it has been so hot down here. Okay. So that's what you want to do. Okay, so let me scratch this piece, 
That's why I like to use this paper here so that I don't, um, you know, I do have some that I don't want to mess up with. Okay, so let's do this again. I think I remember how to do it now. I mean, that was the right way to do it. I just, my folds and stuff were a little bit wonky. Um, okay, so let's cut this at eight and a half. Well, it looks like I'm off the, out of focus or out of the camera or something. I don't know, guys, you know I need some. Okay, so that's eight and a half. And then let's do 11. Okay. There we go. Let's try this again. And so let's take, how much side do we want to fold up on? We'll just do it on this, it's fine. So we want to fold up, no, I want to do this, but is that going to mess up? I want my pocket a little bit deeper. That's not what made my pocket though. No, okay. I need this to come to about a half an inch from the top. Okay, and so then I'm going to take and I am going to fold it in half again. I attempt to. I want to try and keep it straight if at all possible. Come on, better run through. Get it together, sister. Yeah, it sounds like it's raining or hailing. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. Can y'all hear that? Huh. I mean, we are supposed to be having bad weather. But, uh, hello. So my camera might go shut off. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little higher than an inch. I hope I'm not messing this up by doing it this way. All right. So then I'm gonna fold it like that. And then I'm going to burnish it really good. And I'm going to flip it over. And yes, see, I like the, the width of that pocket better. But now I still got to worry about that over there that I got it done right. Okay, burnish that. And I'm going to flip like that. Ha! Perfect! Okay, so we're good. So let me go over what I've done with you guys because I was just like, so I have my, and this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I think you can probably do the same basic concept with any size sheet of paper. So, I mean, we can maybe, I don't know, depending on the weather, I might give it a try. Um, so the first thing I've done was I folded it on the long side about a half an inch, maybe, maybe a little tad more than a half an inch from that top and then I took and I folded it in half like this. Then I opened it up and on the shorter side here, I cut on that um, fold line and I cut, well, I guess that's about an inch, maybe a slightly more than an inch up above that fold and then I folded it up. I made sure it was even over here then I flipped it around and I folded it this way. And then I just folded it back on itself and then this is going to be my um, cover. So let's round my corners. I want to round these corners because this is my envelope 
um, flap. And that's why I wanted to make sure that it come down above this right here. Um, and I could do a little, I don't know where my um, punch is right this minute, so I'm not gonna stress. Okay. So I'm going to round these corners as well. And this will give us at least three different pockets. And let me show you. So once we glue it down, we will have a pocket right here. So that's one. We will have a pocket right here, that's two. But look guys, we're gonna have a pocket right there. So that's three. And then if you were to glue it down into your book, you could glue it down to where it was a pocket as well. So let's go ahead and glue our pieces together. So I wanna take this flap here and I wanna glue on these two sides right here. So I'm gonna glue that down. And then I'm gonna flip this and I want to glue right here and right here because I want my opening there, but make sure you don't close, glue that pocket shut. Um, I have done that a few times. Well, I've done that many times, okay? So call me out, guys, yeah. <laughs> Y'all know I have. If you know me, you know I have. Okay, so we've done that. That's really cute. And then you could decorate it, like you could put some lace on it. Um, you could put some stuff up here. You could put lace on the edge here. I mean, I'm not going to do that on this because this is this is not colors that I would use in my journals. Um, so I don't wanna waste my vintage lace and stuff doing it. Um, but it's definitely something that you could easily do. And I just about glued it shut, even with me telling you guys not to. I don't I think that's not big enough. No. So let's cut a one inch strip. Here it is. Let's cut a one inch strip. And then we can trim it to whatever size it needs to be. But so it's going to be one inch by 12 inches to begin with. because if we're going to do that. Now, if you're going to decorate this and put a bunch of embellishments or stuff on it or in it, I would say, and if you're going to do a belly band or a belly band closure, I would say wait until you get it, um, all of your little stuff in here, because you know, as you start adding stuff in, it will start bulking it up. And so you wanna make sure that your belly band fits around it. So, um, I'm just, I'm not worried about it because I'm not putting anything in it. Um, this is just something that's more um, an idea. Um, and number one, I wanted to see if I could still remember how to do it, which I almost didn't. Um, so now I'm just going to take my paper here. I'm going to get it about the middle. I'm gonna fold that over and fold that over. It looks like I can cut it about right here. Y'all like my measuring? Very precise. And then I'm just going to glue that together. Just like that. And try not to glue it to my little envelope. But you guys never know with me. Y'all know I'm crazy. Okay, so now that we've got this one figured out, we may do one with um, a nice piece of paper and we might decorate it a little bit. Y'all look, I'm on, ah, knock y'all. Okay, I'm gonna get my beautiful preserved paper. Y'all know I hoard this. And I think this is my last pad of it that I have. Uh, I am going to take out this page my tags because that would be cute in that little envelope and what do I want to use I want to use all of it and I want to use none of it 
because I don't want to waste it, that I want to use it because it's so beautiful. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go with this one. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. I am going to grab this one and I'm going to do my first cut. I'm going to do at 11 inches so that I'll go ahead and have that one inch strip that I need. So I'm just going to do it right here and I'm going to cut one inch off. And so that, that'll be the strip that I need to wrap around it. And I've already got it cut. Right? But y'all know what? I went real smart because that's got that in it. So I need to cut three and a half inches off to make it eight and a half. So it's gonna have the little hole in it because somebody was not smart. Wait, it's probably, I can cut that off because that's not gonna, it's not a true 11 because I, it's, they're not counting that hole. I'm, y'all forgive me, I'm having one of the moments. Yep. I don't know why I was thinking that little strip was supposed to be counted. I don't know. Y'all know I'm goofy. Okay, so how did we do this? Um, hmm. Well, that's the problem. I've done it. Oh, well, I don't care. It's cute. We're not wasting this piece of paper. All right, so I'm folding it up. I'm leaving about a half an inch. And yes, I know my words are going the wrong way, but that's okay. I don't care. I must do it, fold it this way so that it's not quite as obvious. Maybe I do care a little bit. Okay, so there's that first fold there. I think that's about a half an inch away. I don't know. Now I'm going to fold it over like this. Attempt to, and I'm so sorry for shaking this. I'm trying to get that really smooth down. Then I'm going to open it. Then I am going to get my scissors. And I want to cut right up that line. And then I want to go about an inch or so above that center fold, that middle fold, middle fold, whatever you call it. I can't even talk. That's good enough, I think. Then I'm going to do it like this, get it lined up. And then I'm taking this here. I'm going to fold it over, get it even. And do that. Then I'm going to fold it like that. I'm going to figure that up. How did I do that? Okay. And then that folds. Yes. Ah. Okay. So I'm going to round my corners. And I think I want to ink this. Just a little bit, maybe. Doesn't have to be much. Um, let's ink here. And let's ink this. Now I could put a little notch here, but I think what I'd rather do is maybe put a tag in there that has like a little um, lace pull or something on it. I think that's what I'd rather do. All right. 
I'm getting there almost. Real close. And then I'm not doing anything to the back because you could um, glue this into a journal. So if you were to glue it into a journal, you wouldn't have to do all of that stuff to it. So now I'm just going to glue right here and right here. I don't know, that's the thing, you know, I've done these, so I used to do these all the time, but then I went for a period of time where I didn't do them, and you kind of forget, you know, it's like use it or lose it type thing, so that's why I want to try and do some of the stuff that I used to do, it's just for nothing else, but to make sure that I don't forget how to make them, um, because when I go and I look back at some of this stuff, I'm like, oh my goodness, that was really cool. How on earth did I do that? I mean, now that could be a day later and I would be like that. But anyway, <laughs> and the bad thing is, guys, y'all know I'm serious. Okay. So there's that. It's really cute. Even with my words being sideways, I'm okay with it. Believe it or not. And make sure I'm trying to glue it to the table. Golly. Okay, so we've got that. Look, that's so cute. So we have a pocket here. We have a pocket here. And we have a pocket here. Oh my goodness. And then if I were to glue it into a journal, which this one I think is too big for most journals. So you might want to go with a smaller sheet, maybe like an eight by eight or I don't know, something like that, but um, it wasn't too bad. It's just, at least it was big enough that, you know, I can get the idea of what to do with it. And I'm just looking, um, I don't know if I want to add some lace right here. What did, I, did I bring my lace? Yeah, I have some lace right here. Let's just see ouch, what a piece of lace would look like right there. Um, I have some really pretty laces. Ah, I'm knocking y'all out. Let's see what this one would be. Ooh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? I think so, but I don't know if I have my Fabri-Tac in here. I don't. Um, we'll try the art glitter and see if it'll hold it. If it doesn't, I can, because it's not going in anybody's journal or, you know, I don't have to worry about it. Um, if I have to put more um, Fabri-Tac or something down, I can do that. So I'm gonna cut that. And then I do wanna put a little bit of glue on these edges right here because this lace will fray like crazy. And it will dry clear, so that's why I don't care about it being I really like that lace on it. Look. Can you guys see it good? Ah, that's pretty. Um I don't think I have any of my ephemera bits or anything over here. So let's let's just grab one of these tags so that we at least kind of get an idea. Um, let's go with maybe this one just because it's right here on the edge. And I'm being lazy. So I'm just going to attempt to cut this straight. You know how that goes with me. But at least I try every now and then anyway. Okay, so we're not, I'm not even going to, well, I guess I should punch a hole in it. Why go through the trouble of doing it if I'm not going to punch the hole, right? I'm just trying to put the lid back on my glue. There we go. 
I'm going to see if I can punch a hole in it. I don't even know if I can see it to punch a hole. Well, it's a little conk eyed, but it's okay. So see, I could put this. I could put several of them like right there. I could get some um, bigger pieces and put down in it, which I don't... Do I have anything right here? I don't think I do because I was just pulling stuff. Um, oh, yeah, here's a, um, let's do this. I wonder how big I would need to have that to make a tag. Okay, let's see what we got. We're just going to try it. Y'all know I don't measure. It's just like, um, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> So what I'm doing right now, I'm just like, yeah, that looks good. You know what? I have my, it'll do up to two and a half inch. Let's do this at two and a half inches and let's just see. So that'll make a tag for me. Which would be pretty cool if it'll fit. I think it will work just perfect actually. So I'm just going to put that in there like that. I'm sorry for shaking you guys. So sorry. Okay. Now let's see how that looks in there. Oh yeah. And look, and then I could have um, some ribbon or something tied around it. That would be cute. And then we're just going to make this into a little card. Just because uh, I don't have anything else right here. And we will do these corners, which we could stamp on it. Oh, that's so cute. And we can make this into a little journal card type thing. And we could set it right there. Look, guys, how cute is that? Look, and you see, I mean, once I remembered how to do it, it really was not hard at all. It's just folding it so you can, and you can do it with any size paper. Um, I just done the eight and a half by 11. I really don't know why. Um, I probably, I don't know, I might try it with like an eight by eight. Um, just to, you know, see, get some different sizes, but you can, you can do this with any size paper. And then you can um, decorate it all up. So now we need to do our little um, thing here. And this is why I said to wait until the um, until you decorate it. Because see, this is a little chunkier. Especially with me having the um, that lace on it. And I'm doing this one. Even though the, hand write, the writing is going to be sideways, I think I want it that way so that it'll have a little bit more of a contrast. So I just need to cut a small piece of this off because it's too much. And you don't have to do a belly band. I'm just doing a belly band. I mean, you know, like if I were to glue this into my book, obviously a belly band would be useless. So, um, but if you want to do one to where this is something that you could take in or out of your journal, and this is all you have to do is just wrap a, you know, a small piece of, like I used one inch. And then you could even decorate that belly band up, put some different stuff on that. And that would be super cute. Um, so, yeah. Well, guys, I am going to get off of here. If I can find where the other one is that goes in my idea journal. Um, I am going to get off of here. I'm going to check the weather because that was sounding a little crazy just a minute ago. Um, but I am going to do that, and then if the weather doesn't go crazy in the next little bit, I may try to film um, another one with one of these other pieces that I pulled out of my idea journal. So, hey, if I done that, I would have a video for a wins for well, for today and tomorrow. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'll at least have some videos.
So I'm going to try it. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's it, guys. I like it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Bye, guys.